Hey everyone, my name is Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing the reveal video for our Kauai subscription. Signups for this subscription are going to be available from July 1st through the 10th of July. After that, signups will close and the subscriptions will ship between the 15th and the 17th. We have six different sizes to go through. Um, if you're familiar with our shop, we have two different subscriptions. We have our monthly subscription and then we have this one, our Kauai subscription. The main difference between the two is that the monthly subscription is month specific. So you're going to get stickers for your holidays for that month, you're gonna get a monthly overview, all things catered to that specific month versus the Kauai kit. This one is fun because it is more generally themed. It's either seasonal or just a really fun, cute theme. This one could lean either way. I feel like s'mores is like the perfect end of summer, early fall treat. Um, so that's the theme. Another cool thing about the Kauai subscription is that is it's exclusive to the subscription. So this kit in its entirety will only be available via subscription. Sometimes I'll bring the design back the following year and it's kind of broken down into a slimmer kit, like a weekly kit or some decorative pieces. So if you love what you see, I highly recommend that you sign up. Um, I, I'll put a link in the description bar below. It'll take you to the website, um, but let's get into the design. So we're going to do vertical and horizontal first. We'll do them side by side because they're very, very similar. The only difference is the height of the full boxes. So with any size kit that you choose, you'll get this fun freebie sheet and it's a bag of marshmallows and each marshmallow has a cute little something on it and I thought that would be cute because once you remove them they all still look like marshmallows and you'll have that cute little bag so no matter what size kit you get again you'll get this as your freebie for the jumbo sticker for vertical and horizontal it's a five by seven and it is printed on our matte removable vinyl so if you did want to stick it to something you could and it's so cute it has this cute little thing here and then you have your little critters on the bottom I love, I say this every time, that they're featured this way, side profile critters. They're so cute. So that's the jumbo sticker. For page number one, you have some little reminder stickers. So you have when the kit reveals, which is the first of the month every month, when the kit is paid for, which if you're already signed up, charges will happen on the 11th of the month. If it's your first time signing up, your first charge is gonna be on the day that you sign up and then going forward, starting with August, then your charges will be on the 11th. And then kits always ship between the 15th and the 17th. As for the decorative items, we have some really cute little marshmallow and chocolate and graham cracker biscuit. You have Peggy and Connie. Um, a smaller version of the sticker on the jumbo and then the decorative strips. I love the decorative strips. I think they're so fun for kind of splitting off different sections of your planner, putting a little border. Uh, so that is page number one. Page number two, you have all of your headers and so it's this really pretty kind of chocolatey plus pink. I couldn't let go of the pink. I think it's so cute together with the brown. So you have like that light khaki color, a nice little light chocolate brown, and then two shades of pink. When it comes to the headers, they're one and a half inches wide for both size kits. And then you have your this week stickers on the bottom. When it comes to the full boxes, vertical full boxes stand at 1.9 inches tall while the horizontal full boxes stand at 1.65 inches tall. So they're just slightly shorter, but it definitely makes a difference. That's the only difference between these kits is the height of the full boxes. Everything else, like the width and these strips, everything, all gonna be the same. So here's a little close up. You have your decorative strips and your cute little decorative pieces. These are the size of the half boxes at one and a half inches wide. This one would be the size of like a double box, so it's three inches wide. And then some more decorative pieces on the bottom and your blank schedules along with some quarter boxes. For page number four, you have your checklists. And of course I had to do the ingredients of the s'mores as a checklist. And then you have your scalloped versions there. So you get a full page of those. Again, the only difference will be the height. For page number five, you have your full boxes, and so you have these really fun patterned boxes. I say this every time, but I love incorporating patterned boxes because they're really cute to layer behind things. It, it allows you to kind of expand on the page it makes it allows you to layer so things pop a bit more you can even put um, like quarter boxes on here i think that would be really cute or you could just leave it like that either way they come in really handy 
And then you have some more full boxes. This one's very functional with that space to write in. And then some decorative stickers on the bottom. So the only difference, again, will be the height of the full boxes. For page number six, you have the rest of the full boxes. Hot Mess Express. I don't know who can eat a s'more without looking like Poe. <laughs> I, I can't. So we have that. Um, better together. Cute little ones. They see me s'moring. They hatin'. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it for you guys. That's as good as it gets. Um, but that's that full box. And then we have those there on the bottom. So that's page number six. Page number seven, you have all of your icons. So you have itty bitty icons here. All of these are itty bitty throughout all the different size kits. And then you have these larger decorative stickers um, that will change in size depending on the kit that you choose, but it's always kind of staying in relation to the full boxes. I use those full boxes as the guide. So we have those and then some typography on the bottom. For page number eight, you have your weekend banners, your blank habit trackers, and your quarter boxes. For page number nine, you have all of your half boxes. Of course, we had to do s'more half boxes as well as the scalloped version. For page number 10, you have all of your date covers, so a full month's worth of the date covers. And then you have your bottom washi. I did a really pretty gradient where it goes from that darker brown to the lighter brown and you get four weeks worth of those. And then I did alternate the gradient similar to how I did in kits in the past. So that way when you're putting the two together, it can go across your page from like dark to light and back to dark. It just looks really nice and seamless. So that is vertical and horizontal. Next up we have our journaling kit. The journaling kit is relatively new. I think this will be, what is it? The third or fourth? Mm -hmm. The third? I don't know. It's the end of the day. <laughs> Anyways, it's relatively new. The journaling kit is really fun because it's gonna feature the same designs that were featured in the vertical and horizontal, but the designs aren't confined to full boxes. Um, I'll show you what I mean. There's still full boxes in here, but uh, not like, let's get, let's just show you. So <laughs> you have your decorative um, bag of marshmallows. You have your jumbo sticker that is a five by seven. If you're familiar with our journaling kits in the shop and our day on one pages for our cousin kit, then you're gonna really love this kit. It's uh, loosely modeled after the cousin kit, or excuse me, the cousin planner when you're working on the daily pages. So it's gonna be a little too large for the weekly layouts, but the daily layouts, it looks really cute. That's not to say that you can't use it in other planners or that you can't use it on that layout. You can get creative. Um, and I personally use it in my B6 planner, so. Page number one is gonna look very similar. Page number two, you have these fun boxes. And so I love these boxes because they're bigger. They give you more space to write. So if you wanted to journal in them, like a little boop of something, just like a few sentences, you could do that. I make checklists in them. And then you have these larger decorative boxes as well as some half boxes. And when I say day on one page in the shop, the day on one page features these stickers. You can pair it with this one. And then there's one more that you can pair it with. I think it's on this page. Those four stickers will fill up the page and it'll be a day on one. It'll look so nice and really cohesive. So that's page number two. Page number three, you have much more of the decorative strips. I use these so much when I'm doing kind of like a daily layout. So you have ones that are a little smaller. These are three inches, similar to vertical and horizontal. And then these are 3.26 inches. And that's just so they fit the same length as these boxes. So that's your full page of fun decorative stickers. Page number four, you have these stickers. I like to use these for my menu planning, but any list really you could use them for. And then you have your checklists. You could use these checklists as dividers and borders as well. You don't need to use them for checklists. And then a cute little s'more. So page number five, this features all of the same stickers that were on the full boxes. Let me show you for example, number five but they're just like decorative pieces. So I pulled that off, you pl I pulled that off. So it's all of the same stickers, just a little more flexible with how you use them. They're just fun, big decorative stickers. So you have the quotes and then you have all of the cute little, little drawings. So this is page number five. 
Page number six, again, you still have the, the funny little saying with biscuit, hot mess express with Poe. So you really can get a little more creative with um, how you put them in your planner. You don't need to pair them like how I paired them, but they go really cute together no matter what. Page number seven, all of your icons and decorative pieces with your typography. Page number eight, you have your weekend banners, your quarter boxes, and some more of those larger full boxes. You have your half boxes. These fun full boxes, I love these ones. Even if it's just a little checklist, for some reason, on days where I don't really have much going on, when I can plop down a big old sticker in it, it just makes me feel like I'm getting more done. <laughs> so that's why I love these big stickers. Page number 10, you have your weekend banners, or not your weekend banners, your date covers. And then you have your four weeks worth of bottom washi. So the bottom washi is sized to fit a Hobonichi Cousin Planner or similar, so like an A5 size planner, but you can always cut it down to where it fits the planner that you're using. All right, next up we have the Hobonichi Cousin. And the Hobonichi Cousin was designed for the weekly layouts. So they are going to fit those slimmer columns. You could still use these on the daily layouts for sure, uh, but this was designed for the weekly. So you have your little decorative sticker, your jumbo sticker, which is a five by seven, your page number one with your reminder stickers and your cute little decorative pieces. When it comes to the full boxes for the Cousin Planner, instead of them being one and a half inches wide, like vertical and horizontal, they're 1.31 inches wide, and they stand at 1.66 inches tall. So they're just about the same height as the horizontal, but they're more um, skinny. So if those measurements sound good to you, you don't need to use these in a Cousin Planner. I say don't look at the names of the kits. Think about the dimensions. Think about how you're planning in the planner, and um, sometimes you can make them work for you. So, for example, when I'm working in my Cousin Planner, I use vertical size stickers. Not on the weekly layout, but on the daily layouts because I like larger stickers. Page number five, you have all of the full boxes, all exactly the same as the vertical and horizontal, just a little bit smaller. Your icons and your decorative stickers, your weekend banners, your blank habit trackers, and your quarter boxes, your half boxes, your date covers, and your four weeks worth of bottom washi, along with those decorative pieces. So that's the Hobonichi Cousin. Next up we have Hobonichi Weeks. And Hobonichi Weeks definitely is a different looking layout. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. You're getting the same design, just laid out a little bit differently. So again, you get your little bag of marshmallows, your jumbo sticker that's sized to fit. Page number one's gonna look identical to the other kits. The date covers, this you can tell looks really different. So your long strips, if you're familiar with the planner, will just go right down into the planner and then you can put your little date dots. You have your this week stickers that will look great on the right side of the planner. You have your blank schedules and some decorative pieces. You have your cute little checklist. They're so short because of the way that the planner is laid out on the left side. These fit perfectly. They're 0.84 inches tall and then your little decorative strips, your half boxes. Uh, and really, they're not really half boxes when you're thinking about the Hobonichi Planner. They are technically, if you're using them on the left side, they're like a full box because they fit in that column, but they're the design of the half boxes. For the actual full boxes, I designed them this way so they could work on either the right or the left side of the planner. If you did put it on the left side of the planner, it would cover the dates, but it would still look super cute. And then I do have some that they just didn't work well in this layout, so I made them this size, and these look so cute on the right side of the planner. Page number seven, you have your little icons and your decorative stickers your weekend banners, your blank habit trackers, some quarter boxes, and the rest of those scalloped boxes. And then you get four weeks worth of bottom washi. 
and you get top washi. I say this every time, but I love doing top washi, the date covers, and the bottom washi. I feel like it just pulls everything together. So even if the center is like not really full or not really, you're not feeling it, I feel like it's just framed in and it just looks really, really put together. So that's the Hobonichi Cousin. Last but not least, we have Itty Bitty. And Itty Bitty is designed with no real planner in mind. They're just really tiny stickers, perfect for like personal size planners, pocket size planners, um, mini happy planner, just anything small. Even if your planner's not small, you just want small stickers, then this would be a good option. You have your bag of marshmallows, as always. Your four by six jumbo sticker. Page number one. And so you can already tell the stickers are looking a lot smaller. Um, when it comes to the measurements for the itty bitty, it's just an inch wide. And so you can just tell with my thumb how much smaller these stickers are, but they're so cute. For the full boxes, they're one inch wide and 1.27 inches tall. But you're still getting all of the same stickers. They're just teeny tiny. Your checklists. Your cute little full boxes. Look how adorable they are. Page number six. Page number seven with your icons and your decorative stickers. Your weekend banners, your blank habit trackers, and your quarter boxes. Your half boxes. Your date covers. And your four weeks worth of bottom washi. So that is it, you guys. I hope you love the des this design. Let me know, do you guys love s'mores? I, so one year I made s'mores with the, the Ghirardelli chocolate. Is that how you pronounce it? Anyways, I'm never going back to Hershey's. <laughs> you guys, you get those little squares that they sell in like a bag at Target and you make your s'mores with that. It's so good, you have to try it. Again, signups for this kit are available from July 1st through the 10th of July. After that, signups will close and the subscriptions will ship between the 15th and the 17th. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to me. Email's always better, support at sweetkawaiidesign.com or you can leave a comment down below. If you need help with your subscription, like say you're currently subscribed to Itty Bitty and you wanna swap it out to Cousin, just send me an email and I can but that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.